Okay, in this video, I'm gonna quickly show you how to use get service. So Roblox, very powerful, has a lot of services um, which will give you access to the Roblox API. Roblox API is essentially just a massive collection of functions and events uh, and things that are created by Roblox, which makes game creation a lot easier. It gives you access to things like data storage, um, purchasing stuff, uh, all sorts, okay? So very simple, all you say is game. So you create a variable for your service and you say game get service and then you give the service name. So many services to choose from. I recommend you go to the uh, object browser and just have a look through here. There's so many different services that have different, um, uh, you know, di different purposes, uh, such as the ad portal, ad service for displaying immersive ads. We've got loads of audio services. The main ones really are things like your HTTP service, marketplace service, um, data store service, but there's so many different ones, pathfinding as well. Uh, and they all have these functions. They have these events functions, which we can uh, make use of, right? So we don't have to code them ourselves. A lot of them we wouldn't be able to code ourselves because, um, you know, Roblox is giving us quite a bit of power here. So yeah, I'll show you a couple of them. You've got, obviously you've got your, um, your main ones in the workspace, replicated storage, server storage, script, ser server script service. They're the main ones really. And then you've got things like marketplace service, which lets you, um, it lets you, you know, check if a user owns a game pass. So user owns game pass async. You just provide a game pass ID and a user ID. You've got stuff like uh, prompt purchase. So if you wanted to prompt a user to buy something, you'd use it and that's what makes that pop-up appear which says do you want to buy this for 100 robux that's done using the marketplace service so you can see how these services let you connect more things to your game it sort of gives it more functionality and this is just a marketplace service right there's so many more services we've got data store service where if you say um, game get service data store service you can do things such as get uh, get data store and then you could say get async to get someone's data, or you could use set async to set someone's data. So that is the data store service, and there's just so many that I can't go through in this video. I'm just gonna try and go through some of the, the main ones that I use especially. You've got the tween service, for example. Tween service lets you smoothly animate um, parts or GUIs. So you could make it do a nice, slow animation. Let me show you, if I create a part over here, and I want to slowly make it fade away. I could say tween service create game.workspace.part tween info.new and I could say transparency equals one and I could say play. Uh, this is going to make the part fade away. Watch this. There it goes, it's gone, but it's still here because we've tweened it. So using these services just lets you um, link up to to the wider Roblox API and do all these cool things. Um, you know, this, for example, has saved me having to write a for loop, which would very slowly decrease the transparency. But it also lets me have loads of properties. I could set the easing style. You know, I could configure whether I want it to um, reverse itself or whether I want a delay. So, so many really cool services. And really, all you need to do to get them is just say get service and set it as a variable like this. And then that variable is, it's almost like a table. It's just full of all of these different events, functions, properties um, that we can then use. So it will be something you're using all the time if you're scripting and making games. So just familiarize yourself with some of these services. Um, it's, you know, especially things like user input service, um, uh, obviously the main ones as well like workspace, replicated storage. I'll probably make another video which explains their purposes. But yeah, services really important. And I hopefully this video has taught you a thing or two about them. So if you enjoyed it, let me know, uh, subscribe, like, and I'll see you in the next one.